Well, it's good to be back. Sorry about that, folks. It's just that college has been ramping up and it's been really busy, nerve-wracking lately. But you know what? Time to get right back into the swing of things, I guess. First things first, we're going to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers and why not. They're not doing that shabby. Donovan Mitchell with 28.9 points per game, 3.7 three-point field goals per game, 5 assists per game, and 1.4 steals per game. Darius Garland, who's on the right of your screen, 22.9 points per game, 8.1 assists per game, and 1.3 steals per game. Evan Mobley has 15 points per game, 9 rebounds per game, and 1.4 blocks per game. Jared Town, 13.5 points per game, 10.8 rebounds per game, and 1.2 blocks per game. And Kevin Love has 10.6 points per game, 2.3 threes per game, and 7.2 rebounds per game. Why don't we at the game recap, shall we? Because that's always fun. First things first, Cavs against the Blazers. That was a 114-96 wine and gold winner. That's right. Jared Allen, 24 points, 13 rebounds. Darius Garland, 24 points as well and 12 assists. And Donovan Mitchell had 34 points. Joseph Nurshik with 22 points. Jeremy Grant, 21 Cavs led for almost the entire game, and Cavs had seven more rebounds than Portland. Cavs against the Bucks. Cavs lost a tough one, 117 to 102. Donovan Mitchell with 29 points. Darius with 20. Giannis with 38 points and nine rebounds. Javon Carter, 18 points. Cavs were up 16 in the first half, and then the Bucks took a 22 point lead and had 15 more assists. Cavs against the Pistons, otherwise known as the game you're watching right now. Well, Detroit got off to a nice 12-point lead, and they won for most of the game, actually. And they couldn't get the job done. 102-94, the Cavs won. Donovan, 32 points. Evan Mobley, 20 points, 13 rebounds. Marvin Bagley, the third, 19 points, 10 rebounds. Alec Burks had 17 points off the bench. Pistons, of course, left for most of the game, as I mentioned, and Cavs took the lead midway through the fourth quarter. And then Cavs against the Raptors. The Cavs took the loss, unfortunately, 100-88. to Evan and Darius combined for 18 points, and everyone else had less than 10 points each, which is not that good. OG on you know, be 20 points. Pascal Siakam, 18 points, 11 rebounds. Cavs were winning at the beginning of the game, I have to say that. And that they had two more Raptors than, or rebounds than the Raptors. Good God, can't speak again. But otherwise, that was it. Nothing else, nothing significant. Looking at the NBA standings, if I can pull it up. Whoops. Standings. Cavs are in third. 13 and 8 record. Second in the Central Division. Only. Two games behind the Bucks and half a game ahead of the Indiana Pacers. So far, so good. But if you recall last year, things start off so far, so good. And they quickly died, of course, pretty quickly. The Celtics are the best team in the Eastern Conference and in the entire game. Bucks are second best. And, of course, Cavs sit at third. Well, I would do a Tommy's Picks recap, but because I... Took two weeks off. You probably forgot them. I probably forgot them. So let's get right into the chase. Time, Tommy's picks right here. First things first. The high school football state finals. Division one. St. Ed's plays Springfield. Not Archbishop Moeller, but rather Springfield. I'm picking St. Ed's to win that game. Division two. Archbishop Hope against Toledo Central Catholic. That should be a good game between two very dominant schools. But I think the Fighting Irish will walk away not just as the winners, but also state champions. And then Division Three, Canfield Cardinals against Bloom Carroll, picking Canfield to win that game and win the state. Division Four, Glenville will be state champions as well once they beat Wyoming. Division Five, South Range against Ironton, picking South Range to win that. And they will also be state champions. I think the Hornets of Kirtland will also be state champions against Marion Local. The Horn JFK Catholic will beat New Bremen in Division 7. 
College Football Conference Championships. That's right. We're talking about the CUSA first. Uh, University of Texas San Antonio versus North Texas picking UTSA to win that. And then the Pac-12 in Vegas. It's going to be USC against Utah picking the Utes. Does that mean the Buckeyes get in then? Probably. Awful. I just don't understand it. Big 12, TCU against Kansas State. My lock of the week right there, TCU. They should win it and clinch a spot in the playoffs, which is ironic because if they have one loss, they won't make the playoffs, but if the Buckeyes with one loss could make the playoffs. Makes no sense, but oh well. In the MAC, it's Ohio against Toledo, picking Toledo. Sun Belt, you got Troy against Coastal Carolina, picking Troy to win that. And the SEC, Georgia against LSU, upset alert right here. It's going to be LSU coming out on top. I doubt Georgia's going to try at all in this game, just like what they did last year in the SEC championship against Alabama. I doubt they're going to try. They're just going to rest everybody and get things all set up for the game on or New Year's Eve because they are in the playoffs for sure. Tulane against UCF, picking the Knights to win that. Boise State hosting Fresno State. I'm picking the Broncos. Big Ten, Michigan against Purdue. I think the Wolves are going to win and clinch a spot in the playoffs because, well, Purdue isn't that hard of a task. And then North Carolina against Clemson. Two teams that are just pointing for bragging rights by now. I'm picking North Carolina. So first or last uh, NFL picks. You have the Patriots against the Bills. I have an upset right here. I think the Patriots can get it done. Then you have the Falcons against the Steelers. I am picking the Falcons to win that, even though both teams are really bad. But the Falcons can win the division if they can beat the Steelers. Can you just imagine that? Tom Brady gave up his marriage just for a pretty poor season. To lose to the Browns. I'm sorry, that was awesome. David Njoku with catch of the year. And then Amari Cooper burning his man like toast. My goodness. Ravens against Broncos country. Let's die. Oh, my goodness. That, that's going to be a game that's going to be a blowout. Baltimore wins that. Did you see that uh, people are turning on Russell Wilson? I mean, the players are. They were getting mad at him. They were fighting him. And he's like, what did I do? I mean, he's been doing a terrible job. That's what's going on. Broncos country, let's ride. More like Broncos country, let's die. You know what it reminds me a lot of? Broncos country, let's ride. It, it reminds me a lot of the magic school boss. Good Lord. What? Broncos. Exactly. Broncos country, let's die. I can just picture Russell Wilson as Miss Frizzle and go, Sit boats, everyone! And all Broncos fans, I made a meme about that. And then Broncos fans being Arnold and saying, please let this be a normal season with Russell Wilson. No way. Aww. Magic School Bus was a great show. Then there was the bad Netflix reboot. Every reboot is bad. Just about. Eh, you're not here for me to talk about reboots. You're here for me to talk about Tankful. Because we don't have one, we don't got two, we have three tank bulls this week. Sea Bears against the Packers. I'm picking Chicago to win that one. I don't care if Justin Fields is starting or not, Aaron Rodgers has been awful all season long. Tank bull again. The Lions against Sucks and Bill. I'm picking the Lions to win that. They almost beat the Bills. And Sucks and Bill beat the Ravens last week. And then another. Exactly. My goodness, Justin Tucker missed a field goal, I think. That's what happened. And then Tank Bull part three this week. The Houston Suckses against the Cleveland Browns. Dear Lord, let the Browns win and give me some false hope in what will be a really bad game. I'm picking the Browns to win that one. But yes, that is, those are your three tank bulls this week. Vikings against the Jets. Finally, some good games. I'm picking the Vikings. Giants against the Commies. The Commies have been rolling. 
I think they're going to beat the Giants. Eagles against the Titans. That could be a potential Super Bowl matchup. Jalen Hurts just had a great season. I hope for an offensive uh, showdown because Derrick Henry is on my fantasy team. So is Jalen Hurts. So, yeah, I'm picking the Eagles. Rams against the Seahawks. Seahawks have been struggling lately, losing their last two games. But you know what? I think they can get it together by beating the Rams, who have been awful this season. 49ers against Free Willie. I'm picking Free Willie to win that. They have won every game that Tua has started in this season and hasn't gotten hurt in. Bengals against the Chiefs, picking the Bengals. Raiders against the Chargers. I'm just saying Raiders have won two straight. They're fresh off a big win against Seattle, which Josh Jacobs had the game of his life. My word. Picking the Raiders. Cowboys against the Colts, picking the Cowboys. And then Monday night, Buccaneers against the Saints. I would say that's tankful, but something's going to come out on top of that division. So it's tank division is your name tree calls, and I'm picking the Saints. Because how do you lose to the Browns? But yeah, Josh Jacobs last week, my goodness. 54.3 fantasy points. Yeah, you heard that right. 54.3. That might be the greatest fantasy football game I have ever seen. Oh, ye gods, that was just incredible. Well, I think the... We're almost out of time out here on Tommy Maroon Sports Show on WCTV. So if you've been watching, I highly suggest that you stay tuned for more great shows out here. And until then, I'm Tommy Maroon. See you next week, hopefully. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.